For the first time in over a year, we're going to be mixing it up a little bit. Thank you so much for clicking on the video, and welcome in. Welcome to where a Destiny main tries out a different game. Now in this video, we're going to be talking about the Enigma. And because this is Remnant 2 and not Destiny 2, we're not talking about a glaive. So the Enigma is classified as a handgun, although it performs 1 million percent more like an SMG. As this awesome weapon fires an electrical stream that jumps to nearby targets within 7.5 meters, dealing 25% reduced damage per jump and applies overloaded. The unique mod Chaos Driver drives electrified rods which tether to other rods within 10 meters. Tethers last for 10 seconds and deal 20 shock damage per second. Targets take 50 shock damage per second and deal 25% damage for every extra rod. This increases by one and a half times if linked to another rod, however rods in the same target will not be linked. This mod is basically a pseudo anarchy, which is awesome. Also this handgun feels a lot like the wrist runner okay enough of the destiny comparisons how do you get this gun well in order to craft the enigma you need three things scrap luminite crystals and then the most important ingredient the cipher rod now the thing is is that a cipher rod you can only get from the labyrinth however the labyrinth is only unlocked once you've beaten your first zone as we know, this game has uniquely generated campaigns for each playthrough, so your first zone isn't going to be the same as my first zone. However, you should still unlock the labyrinth whenever you kill the main boss in your first zone, and when you do so, you're going to have a little bit of fun in store for you. As the Cypher Rod lies within the labyrinth, when you do get to the labyrinth, you are going to want to proceed through it as normally, exploring areas like the Fractured Ingress, and make your way through the Entangled Gauntlet. Eventually, what's going to happen is you're going to arrive at this shifting portal. And this is going to be the important spot, as this portal is constantly changing the other side and what you're going to come out of. Through this portal, you can also get yourself the reprocessed heart relic, but you're also going to be able to get the cipher rod through here. In order to do so, you're basically going to wait to watch for the shifting portal to show nothing but an empty sky, and then a landmass on the top edge. As the portal pans to the right, you then pass through it, you know, you're gonna fall on this little ledge and you can proceed forward as you continue further onward you're gonna have some enemies and you're gonna pull up to a statue and then right next to that statue is going to be that good old cypher rod and we were able to get our enigma crafted ready to go before we fought the giant cube bosses in the labyrinth in case some of you guys were wondering at this point you can hightail your happy ass back to war 13 and go talk to ava as long as you got seven luminite crystals and some scrap my boy, you can go ahead and grab yourself this beauty of a handgun. Although, from here on out, I'm going to refer to it as an SMG. Because hot damn does it feel like one. For any of your close range crowd control needs, this SMG has got you covered, my boy. It can shoot multiple targets at once, and it can chain lightning. This gun reminds me of the live wire from Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. Shout out to my Borderlands people if y'all are watching the video, my OG crew. As well as the Risk Runner from Deadney 2. Shout out to my Destiny people as well. You already know. I appreciate you guys. Y'all know I fuck with y'all even though Deadney 2 at the moment. Dead as hell, bro. Six feet under. And considering the fact that you can get this gun pretty early on, basically as soon as you unlock the Labyrinth, you will have the ability to go craft this beast of a weapon. And I recommend doing so. Me and my butt have been taking it off ever since we've gotten it. So I figured for my first Remnant 2 video, I'll let you guys know about it. If you watched the video all the way up to this point, I really do appreciate it. Because this is way out of my comfort zone. First video on a different game in over a year. So I'm not really expecting this video to do that well. So if you did watch the video, thank you. You're a stud. And you deserve to find a $100 bill on the ground. Y'all take care. And you be safe out there.